Uh, oh, wait, the game's... Wait, did the game start? Wait, the game start? Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay. All right, we're white, by the way. So, uh, Pawn? Okay, wait, are we doing a live chess? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're in live chess. You're playing You're playing Ludwig. Ludwig okay. Skywalker, yeah. Okay, no, okay, yeah, okay. Okay. No, no more talking about uh, what it now. It's only, only talking about the, the pieces, right? Yeah, yeah, I can only say what the pieces. We're, yep. Exactly. We're in game right now. You guys know that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. By the way, I, 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 this is not a signal or a code, but um, the pieces of the board doesn't feel right. The board isn't like um, there's no predictions. There's no the board is very rudimentary. Just saying. Uh, let's go with pawn. Oh wait, can you not say which one? No, I I can only say pawn. Uh, you you have to pick the pawn. Oh, okay. Um. Yeah, it's good. It's good. They're already they're already confused. They don't know what they're doing. Because they only prepared for one other thing. So they're already, like, totally lost. Uh, Knight. Well, I... I listen, if there's an admin that can fix this, I, I, I need my little arrows, my little thingies. Uh, you, 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 can, you, can, you can right-click. You can, you can right-click and make an arrow. Yeah, it's not working. It's okay, though. Oh, okay. They're like they're 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 really confused here. They don't know what they're doing because they only prepared for one other thing, and um, e even though Ludwig Ludwig is very good, he's just like he he as long as yeah, he doesn't have like an opening setup, he's conf yeah he'll, he'll, he'll exactly. Bad, like. Ludwig is a bot. Yeah. One one thing goes wrong and he falls mm -hmm. apart. Yeah yeah one trick Andy. Yeah <laughs> yeah that's one way to put it. <laughs> Uh, let's go with, uh, Bishop. Yeah, this is, this is great. Good stuff. Um, let's go with... Bishop. Uh, King. By the way, you guys, I muted myself. Uh, I would have said push a pawn or something like that normally, but the reason that I, the reason that like I didn't say it is because I think he could get confused there. Pawn. Did you hear me? I said pawn. I'm I'm thinking. Oh, okay. Sorry, I just made sure you heard me. Yeah, yeah, sorry. Come on, little wig, man. Lud Skywalker, his name is. Oh, go ahead. Um, Knight. Skywalker would be very disappointed that his, uh, his name is linked to his gameplay. I'll tell you that much. Mm hmm For sure. Uh, 
Um, let's go with Bishop. Just so you guys know, I'm not thrilled with the opening in a, in a way because it's not completely open here. But I will say, that so far, it's I've been able to guide 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 XQC in a way that his position is ve is it's very sound fundamentally. Even though objectively it's not a great position, the moves should be pretty simple, simple at least for the next like five to ten moves. So I'm pretty happy with the with the moves, although the game itself is is kind of unclear. Um, let's go with uh, Knight. Yeah, I, I get it. Um, bang, bang. Mm -hmm. Yeah, knight. So just one of the two knights. Yeah. yeah. Um, let's go with queen. This is where we get to see the genius, you guys. We'll see. I said queen, so this is where we get to see the genius. Um, I kind of wanted simpler moves, but already it's not simple. So I kind of have to hope that he, he trusts himself and he, he plays. Wow, good stuff. Um, let's go with, uh, Rook. It's not perfect. Not and it's not perfect, you guys. I mean, if I'd known that he I actually maybe should have demonstrated more trust in him back here and said queen right away, because queen here was very good, but I just wasn't sure. Um, let's go with pawn. I like A3, by the way, you guys. A3, even if it's not the best move, again, it's a, it's a sta stable, solid move, so I'm very happy with it. And I think the question is here, probably for, for Robert Hess, who's on the other side, he's trying to debate, does he want to use the bishop and take? Is he going to move the knight? Like, what piece does he say to move here? Um, let's go with pawn. Big moment here. There's one good move, and I'm trusting that XQC can find the one good move here and see that his pawn is under attack. Maybe he won't. It's hard to judge, but that's my assumption is that, like, I'm trying to see if, uh, 
I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to guide him in, in a way that he can find only moves. That's that's my plan. Um, let's go with Rook. Complicated choice here, but the good thing for me when I say Rook here is that XCC can't really make any bad moves. All Rook moves are fine. They're all stable. There might be one that's a little bit worse than the others, but they're all stable moves. So I'm very happy, and he does go Rook S3. Not the best move, but they only have one move here that's probably good for Black. If they don't find one move here, I think we might win the game. We might already be winning if they miss if they don't find one move. And mind you, it's a very tough move as well. It's a very hard move to find. Very hard move, and eat, just because they would say the right piece doesn't mean the move is guaranteed. Um... Let's go with a uh, pawn. Oh, there's only there's only one move here, you guys. There's only one move. No, I mean you. I mean, there's only one move here. That's why I said pawn. Oh, good, he found it. It's a lot easier playing like this, isn't it? Um, yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. Uh, Bishop? Uh, queen. They are finding some really good moves, I have to say. Ludwig is, Ludwig is finding some really good moves. Like, that Queen H4 move was the best move, and the only move after which White is not probably much better. So a lot of credits to go to Ludwig that he found this Queen H4 move, because it is the, it is the only good move. And actually, find, saying Pawn and finding H5 is also kind of kind of, kind of of impressive, too. Because when you say Pawn, that doesn't, that doesn't necessarily mean H5. That um, could be B6, A6, or many other moves. Rook? Only big problem here, you guys, is that his time. That's the only real problem we have here is that we're down on time. So it's a little bit concerning. And I, I don't actually love this position because the moves are a lot harder to find. Rook.
They actually made a big blunt. Uh, Rook. I was gonna say that was a mistake. Um, anyway, I got I got a talk text. Uh, pawn. Pawn. Um, let's go with knight. Very tough position to play because there are no obvious moves. And a lot of his maneuvering and backwards knight moves for someone who's not an experienced player are very hard to find. But I don't really have a choice here because otherwise we're probably just going to lose. Because when, when Hess says rook, 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 and he, he double stacks it, I have to have some idea for it. So even though it's probably unlikely that XCC is going to find the right knight move, I kind of have to just trust um. that he can maybe find it here because their moves are too straightforward and they're going to find all of them immediately, I think. Knight. Um, let's go with Rook. Pawn. Knight. Knight. Maybe I should have said rook there, but I don't know. If I said rook b3, rook h3 is a line, but I, I thought it was too hard for him to find, which is why I didn't just say it. I still think for Ludwig, it's not obvious where he's supposed to go with his pieces. Um, let's go with rook. Ludwig's finding all the good moves. I, I have to say he's, find, he's finding a lot of good moves. I, I guess I should have said Rook right away. Maybe he would have played Rook B3, but I didn't think... I thought it was too hard of a move for XQC to find. It was Rook B3, Rook H3. Maybe I should have said that, because now it's just too easy for Black to play. Unfortunately. 
But he could still choke on time, I guess. Uh, let's go with Knight. Uh, Rook. Uh. You're only at 50 seconds, so you kind of just have to move. Yeah, yeah, okay, so, uh, I thought it was increments. What, what, yeah, yeah, gain no, time? You, you gain a little bit of time. It's like five seconds, but yeah, just because just we're kind of low. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go with pawn. Um, let's go with rook. Uh, let's go with Rook. Um, let's go with uh, Rook. Uh, King, I guess. King? Oh, sorry. <laughs> it's fine. It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's fine. Uh, King? King? Uh, pawn. Oh, uh, king. King. Uh, king. 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 I guess it's king every move now. Yeah. <laughs> King. King. Yeah. Kim.
Yeah. What went wrong? Um. All right. I mean, I guess what went wrong was if you go back to like uh, the. Actually, there were a couple things that went wrong. First of all, on, on move move number ten, way back at the start, I, I actually should have told you to to move your queen here to this g4 square. That's probably the important one. Actually, let me see if I can let me see if I can pull one, it up. Two, Just give me one three, second. Okay. Um, I I'll just invite you to a board. Yep. Yeah, you should see it bot bottom right hand corner. Oh, uh, I don't know what else yet. Yes, you know. Yeah, so, okay. so so like everything in the opening was completely fine. I thought. I mean, there there were better ways to play it, but it's not not really a big deal. Um, probably on this tenth move, I should have told you to move your queen. Could, Queen because you could have gone to this g4 square right away to hit this pawn. Yeah. And there's a, the difference is that in the game right here, black is castle and the pawn is guarded because the knight's out of the way. So you can just move the king and guard the pawn. Right. But if you go right here, there's still a knight, so you can't castle the king here. And now black has to like either play it, push this pawn, and now these these squares are all kind of weak around his king. Yeah. Or he has to like move the king, and, and then he's moved the king and he can't castle anymore. So th this was like pro this was kind of on me because I, I wasn't sure if you could find that move, um, but I should have told you to because then you found you found like the right move one move later with Queen G4. Yeah. So I, I, it was all pretty good. This was this was fine. This rook move, by the way, was completely fine. Um, I mean, they they found some good moves. I have to say, like the, the, this move Queen H4 is a very good move because if you can get like your your rook over here, like some some random moves, uh, you can really get a big attack. Like you get this big attack yeah. towards this towards where the king is. Yeah. Um but I mean they they played Queen H four and then yeah, found this move. That yeah, that was what I was going for. Either the stacking mm -hmm. and then trading pawns so we could have a passage through. And right. going with the queen and pressing the king, the king either from the left or from the right of the king. Yeah, the yeah, it would have been Yeah, I mean the thing is this queen move just play it forces the queens off the board. And it's just it's hard to attack then. Yeah, yeah. So, um, yeah, so, okay, so, so what happens? So there, there's, like, this happens. Yeah, and, I mean, basically what I wanted, to, kind of what I wanted to try to do is I wanted to get this knight to the center of the board. Um, that, that was, that's, yeah, that's what I wanted. Like, I, I wanted, like, like, you, 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 you've seen this, uh, this blockade, right? This idea with the knight on a square yeah. where it can't be removed. Like, if you get the knight here, I have no pawns close by to attack it. So it's just completely stable, and I can even put a pawn just to reinforce it. And it's just perfectly placed here. Um, so th that was the first thing. I guess, like, yeah, right, right here. Actually, I should have told you to play this move. Um, th this would have been this would have been a, a good move instead. But I, I wasn't sure if they would find the right move. So probably the, the only real mistake that we made in this game um, was really just a, this one move, this knight move. This is the only real mistake. If you had gone back yeah. to the square oh, and prevented this, yeah, yeah. It, the game would have just gone on. Maybe it would have even been a draw because you could always just move the knight back. But it's, it would it would it's pretty balanced here. Okay. So it's yeah it was, it's it's all good it's all good don't don't get too don't be too disappointed. Because I mean we really well, only lost right. that game to one pawn. Yeah yeah I I I wasn't really um I wasn't too worried about uh the move themselves I just kind of got lost with the with the knight stuff. But then yeah I yeah like I mean that's, that's what I would say it's very hard because like even experienced players have trouble with that where you play like. You, you play backwards knight moves. Like, you don't want to move the knight back. It's like, it's, it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. Because you want to go forward. And so when, when you, like, when, when you move, moving the knight backwards and maneuvering, even experienced players have trouble with that. So it's not, it's not that big of a deal. It's just, it's difficult. Yeah. So my yeah. thing was when you said knight, it was that um, we were, like, kind of, like, um, giving up the left side, and we're going to mm -hmm. attack the king uh, on the right, right. side with the, present, whatever we claimed earlier. Like the yeah, and you're, you're, you're the... not wrong, by the way, when you think that. There's only one problem here, which is we don't have queens. With queens yeah, on the board, yeah. this king would be very vulnerable. But because there are no queens on the board, it's very hard to attack, even if you get the knight to this dark square next to the king. That's the only problem. Um, that's yeah, that that's the difficult difficult part. I mean, it's it, it's just a position that's easier. It's easier at an intermediate level for someone to play with like the rooks and the bishop, because also they can like say rook and they know they have this open line as well. Whereas for us, it's like I have to say like push the pawn or move the move, maneuver the knight to better squares. It's just more advanced concepts that's hard to do. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's... Um, how many more games do we have? Uh, we have two, it... two more games. I think the next game starts in like two minutes. Oh, okay, we're good. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. No worries. Have you played much chess recently or not? Uh, yeah. 
So I'm I'm still like I'm not like super hardcore warmed up, but I'm not like bad bad. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I mean you're you're better than when you started. I mean like a, what was it, a year and a half ago I think it was. So it's a so yeah, the stage but, um, of improvement. Yeah, I'm I'm not like I'm not like totally lost lost, you know. Mm-hmm. But yeah. um yeah. yeah, it's just a night that I, I I literally got lost. I mean I didn't. And I'm not embarrassed to say, like, I, 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 I have no idea what I was doing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, it's yeah, you, you, you're a lot better in general, and so that's, that's all, that's all that matters. But of course, we can, still, we, we have still two games, so we can still win them both. But generally, yeah. when I say, like, also when I say, like, um, there were a couple times you used a lot of time, like, I moved this move 16. When I said pawn, you took a while to push the pawn. Like, I said pawn because there's only one move that makes sense, like, because your queen's under attack here. So the only move when I say pawn that can guard the queen is the pawn push. So that's the only thing is like is our time management. Maybe we should move a little bit quicker. Yeah. Uh, because there were a couple of moves where like when I said pawn here, it's just like you you should take like two seconds. Realize oh well the queen's under attack. I I can guard it with this one pawn move. Um that that's the only thing that I would say. But yeah, it's it's not a big deal. They they found some good moves. I I mean this queen move to h4 was a really good move. And then later when they they pushed this pawn to force the queen trade, this was also a very very good move. Link the game again. Uh I I let back some. Oh you closed it or you still have it open? Yeah, yeah, I closed it and it's not ripening. Oh, okay, sure. I'll um, yeah, let me. Yeah. Second. It should be the okay. I'll just close it. I'll close it and reopen it. One second. Yeah, now now it should be now it should now it should reopen. <laughs> Got it. Yeah, I, I, so what I was saying was just like this queen move is really good, but then also this pawn move is also good because like what I wanted was if they trade the queens here, you, you have these two pawns. Or stacked, stacked, yeah. But yeah. at the same time, you can you can you can now start to support this pawn push because like one one if we just look at this position, I'll just go back. Let me just say we reached some position. Like, like, yeah. let's just say we reach this position. Just look, if you just look at these, these four pawns, like you'd love to push this pawn to attack the knight. Yep. But when you push the pawn, you now weaken this one. I can capture. So like, you really don't want to do that. And so like, if, if we, in the, in the game, when we get to, um, what's the position? Yeah. When they, when they play this move, if they trade, you'll notice that you have the bishop guarding. So you can actually try to push. And like, let's say this pawn wasn't here. Like say, I just make some random moves or wait, actually, sorry, we have a game. Sorry, we got to play. Yeah, okay, I'm ready. All right, okay. Um, yeah, we're black, so. Okay, uh, pawn. Knight. Uh, knight. Uh, bishop. By the way, you guys, I love this move because now we won't run into any danger with, like, our knight and our queen getting pinned here later on. Very important that you play this move. I'm very happy to see this. Uh, let's go with bishop. Uh, pawn. Knight. I have to say, you guys, I have a really good feeling about this position from the get-go. I've got a good position. It's open. or I've got a good feeling about it. It's an open position. Queen. Open position, easy flow to the game. I, I have a good feeling about this one. Uh, queen.
uh, queen. I'll see you guys. I don't. I don't want to overstress him. Like if I, if I start talking too much, like I feel like I'll break his his his, his concentration. And if I break his concentration, then he's much more likely to make a blunder. In case you guys are wondering why I'm not talking a lot, King. Uh, Rook. Bishop. Also, you guys, I, I will say, I think he did a great job last game. We just got an unfortunate position where it was easier for them to play, like much easier for them to play. Uh, but he didn't, but X didn't really do anything seriously wrong. I mean, there's one mistake. And if one mistake is what's going to cost the game like that, I mean, I feel like that's so be it kind of, because it was not like some huge howling blunder or error. And, um, and Ludwig played a good game. Uh, let's go with Rook. Yeah, this is, let, let, let's see. Let's see if he finds. It. I thought this was pretty straightforward because he already is like kind of perfect placement of the rooks that you want both the rooks in the center lines. So I thought it was kind. Of, it should be pretty obvious. That being said, um, he is thinking a while. So maybe I mean I'm I'm hoping that if he doesn't at least play this one, that he's going to go for the double stack. One one of these two. Okay, so he's trying to do the classic uh, rook lift again, which is not not that bad. I have to say, not that bad at all. Wait, why are you guys putting tours? You guys can see it. Uh, let's go with pawn. Also, one thing I would, one thing I'll take in mind if I get the opportunity later in these games, I've noticed is that X does not like to put the wait, uh, queen. Is that X does not like to put the rooks on e8 and d8. He likes to go with, with rook on f8 or f1. He likes to bring this rook to e8 and have the rooks on these two squares as opposed to these two squares. So I'm gonna have to keep that in mind for the later games. That like if 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 there's a situation where I like rook e8, rook d8, or rook d1, e1 to kind of find a way to give him something that's more like intuitive with like rooks on like only the e file instead of like the e and the d file. That's what I'm gonna have to think in th think of. But we have a great position. I have a very good feeling.
I swear you guys are trying to tilt me with your with your tours, with all those tours. You really are trying to tilt me. Anyway, we, we have a good position. We're up on the clock. It's smooth. It should be flowing. If I can get X to play E4 with, like, rookie 8, I think we're on our way to a dub this game. I think we're in very, very good shape here. Uh, rook. Also, overall, you guys are doing... Oh, one second. Uh, Rook. I'm happy, you guys. I'm happy with what he's doing so far. This is this is very, very good. Very, very good. Uh, queen. Also, of course, you guys, we don't want to trade the bishop for the knight here because, again, the bishop is really important in terms of targeting everything near the white queen. It's really, really important. So, like, that's why when I say queen, there are, no really, there are really no bad queen moves. The only problem is now white can say knight, and then it's going to be difficult to figure out what we're doing next. That's the only problem. White will say knight, and now white doesn't have many knight moves. This is, like, kind of the only move if white says knight. If they don't play knight g3, I think we're, we're, I think we're going to win this game for sure. Um, let's go with queen. Uh, queen. I, I don't know if that was a mouse slipper or not, because obviously I can't see what chat's writing, but... Oh, man. It's going to be very hard to find anything now. Uh, uh, knight. We're back in business, you guys. Back in business. If he takes, we take. I mean, we're still losing technically, but we're gonna at least get material back here. So we have we have like some small chances now. We're we're back.
Knight. Uh, queen. He had knight, knight, knight f3 was winning, you guys. Knight f3 was winning the queen. That's why puzzles are so so tricky because, like, in a puzzle rush, you pro puzzle rush, you probably find knight f3, but in an actual game, it's like you just think you just take. Yeah, so I said queen? I'm not sure if you yeah. heard me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, just making sure. Yeah, very frustrating that he didn't see knight f3, but it's okay. It's okay, we keep moving forward. I, st I still think we have a, as good a chance to win as they do, because the position is it's very tricky to co coordinate like the bishop and the knight. I also think with the rook and the queen, the move should be very slightly easier for, for us to find than for them to find. Uh, pawn? I do think he should be able to find F5, which is a move I want, because... Uh, it's not too different from our last game, where we got very similar, similar pawn structure, similar situation with the king, and the rook and the queen were also going with pawns pushing towards where the king was. So I do think he should be able to see f5 here. I, I think he should find it. I, I, I would be, I would be a little bit surprised if he doesn't, because no other pawn moves make sense. But I mean, he could also think that I just want to play like a quiet move here. But. Hmm. It's a very dangerous move, you guys, because now, I, now I'm going to have to put my life in his hands here because, like, I'm not going to be able to give him easy moves. Rook? I mean, it's going to be very dangerous, you guys, because now I'm going to have to trust that he can find a best move because we're in a situation where there are a lot of, there's an open file, there are back-ranked mates, there are all kinds of problems here. So this, this is like, this, this could, this is very dicey. I'm going to have to trust him to find the right moves now. There's no, there's no, like, uh, there's no, like, I can't really, like, guide him to easy moves. He's just going to have to find the, the right move and not get mated. Uh, Rook. He should spot it now, though, because Rook D1 really is choreographing the exact checkmate here, so he should be able to spot it. I mean, I, I, so we'll see. I said Rook. He's got two good Rook moves. I, I think he can find one of them. I, I, I assume he can find one of them. I, I expect him to, at least. Okay, that's one of the two moves that's good, actually. That's one of the two moves that's safe. It's a safe move. Uh, it's a safe move. Uh, let's go with Rook.
ก็พอนอืมไม่แน่ใจว่าเขารู้คำศัพท์ลุฟท์แต่ฉันคิดว่าเขาควรจะเข้าใจใช่ฉันคิดว่าเขาควรจะเข้าใจได้ Also, you guys, even, even, uh, okay. Let's go with um, Rook. Now this is where it gets interesting, you guys, because we're in a 50-50. If White plays Bishop d2 after Queen e7, we're winning, or they can take. So it depends what White says. Because if the 2300 thinks that xqc can't find Queen e7, they should play Bishop d2. But if they assume that xqc can find Queen e7, then you're going to lose the game. So it's actually this is a very 50-50 situation um, where it's going to be interesting. Do they do they do they trust that xqc can't find Queen e7 when I say Queen, or do they just take and play this end game? Um, with pawn takes rook, it's a very it's a very tricky situation here. Very tricky. Uh, rook. Oh. That's such a bad decision. Whoever the I think it's a Polish guy who said that. Is just completely insane, because like he wanted queen c8, king h7, bishop d2, and then after rook e8, it's a draw. But there's no way that a 1000 is going to find bishop d2 there. A 1000 is not going to find queen c8 and bishop d2. No. I don't see how we have any chance here. I'm gonna have to tell him to play rook takes c3 next move. Uh, rook. I mean, I have to tell him to move the rook here, you guys, because if, if he takes the queen, I mean. It's just a bishop against pawns on the board. I can't assume that the white's going to make a mistake here. I just can't. It's just I, I think it's I think it's better odds of a rook versus a queen than down a bishop in an end game here. Uh, it's just I, I was I, I was worried that he might do that because I mean basically when I said rook he can just move the rook anywhere, but then but then yeah then he went for rook h3. Oh that's so unfortunate. But he's he still I said rook so he's got to know that he can take the bishop here. Uh, rook? Yeah yeah I said rook. It was a slight mishap but it's okay. King. Uh, let's go with uh, Rook. Uh, Rook. Rook. Uh, Rook.
Rook. Uh, pawn. Uh, pawn. Uh, I guess king. Uh, rook. Uh, king. King. Uh, pawn. Pawn. We have a miracle hope at a stalemate, you guys. I want to go h5 king. Uh, pawn. I was hoping for a miracle stalemate with king h4, h5, g4, where he takes f4 and it's a draw. But queen e1 is a great move here. Um, Pawn. Problem is there's no stalemate here. Pawn. Uh, pawn. King. King. Pawn. Pawn. King. 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 Yeah. Budge. Yeah, uh, you, you were completely winning. You just you, you took that pawn um on the side, which was like. What uh, did I throw? Out? Where? Show me. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll invite you to the board. Just one second.
Yeah, you should see it. Oh, I see it. Yeah, I mean there were a there were a couple a couple things. I, I invite you to the game board if you want to see it. Um, yeah, I'm uh I'm on the game board. I'm pretty sure. Okay. Invite you to it. It's a, it's still in live chat, so I'll just I'll just resend. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, I, like it was all it was all very good for the most part. I mean, I, what I wanted was like when I say move a piece two times in a row. Actually, normally what that means is that like. I want you to kind of reposition it on a, on a better square than it was the first time, if that if that option exists. Yep. Um. So like, blunder this, but there, there this was the first point right here. You could have gone knight here. Yeah. Yeah. And, you can't take because of the pen. Uh, yeah. And it sucks because I knew that the whole time that it wasn't a pen. Uh -huh. And uh. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. I, 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 yeah. It it's, yeah. It's terrible. But I mean, really, the heartbreak was like back here. Uh, you could have just moved the rook anywhere except taking the pawn, basically, and you're you're winning. If you just move the rook back, any any basically any other square, and you're just winning because the pawn guards the queen. Okay. And you have a rook against bishop. I mean, the reason that in this position after he took, I said move the rook is because I thought when you take the queen, he takes your rook. And now he just has a bishop, and you just have pawns on the board. That that's why I said rook is because I thought. Oh yeah, it's still a losing game. Yeah, yeah. I thought our only chance was if you had like a rook on the board. That because you were confused when I said rook, and I just said that because like I just thought like if we only have pawns on the board, there's no chance against the bishop. That was the reason. Oh but, yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. yeah, the pin was the GG right there. That was that was fucking nail in the coffin to be honest. Yeah. That was a crazy. That would have been a crazy move though. I didn't see it. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because I mean, the thing is, like, he he should not move the queen there. He moves the queen anywhere else. You're just you're so you're 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 so tunneling on that rook that you can capture. Like that's the whole point. So like, yeah, I mean, it's it's unfortunate, but yeah, I just yeah, I just missed it. It happens. Yeah, but, and it, it wasn't that great. It wasn't that that, uh, mm -hmm. that hard of a move to figure out either. Cause yeah, I, but I, it's, up... it's the it's the only square where you don't take the rook though. I mean, it's the only square if he goes to any, and I guess he can go here. Well, like if he moves the queen to any, like this one or that one or or even to the edge, you don't have this idea at all. So like you you kind of have to like I mean you're 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 so expecting that that like it's it's not crazy to miss it. But I, I would say that's what makes makes it really hard is when you're in game versus doing a puzzle. Like in a puzzle, I think you would have found this move easily. Um, yeah, yeah. But but like in, in a game, like it's it's you're just you're so focused and you see like okay, you can take this rook with the knight. So so yeah. Um, so, uh, it, it it happens. It's not it's not a big deal. You played pretty well overall. Just two mistakes, unfortunately. They were they were kind of big mistakes. Uh, that's that's all. Yeah. But but I mean uh, the whole game was good. Like everything you did, like all of this was good. You you actually you put the bishop on the right square. Do do you know why I wanted you to put the bishop on the square? Uh the bishop on the square. I put it on, um, I mean on this square. Like for example, you can move the bishop here instead of putting it on this square. Do you have any idea why this is a better square? Um. No. Okay, so so there there are a few reasons. First of all, with the bishop here, it can it targets many different ways. Um, if you put the bishop on this square, it's only aiming towards this pawn here. Okay. So when you put the bishop here, if you can, right now you see how there's these two pawns, uh, one in front of the other. You can't really take this take this pawn because I just take back with the pawn. But if let's say I make make a move like king here, you can actually push this pawn now. And when white takes back, you can take back. And now your bishop is, again, aiming at two different diagonals here. So it's much better placed because of the long-term potential. Whereas if you go back here and you put the bishop here, it's, it's only aiming at this one pawn. There's, there's nothing okay. else. Really aiming yeah, I never at. reflected that in. That's a good point. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. And then also just as, as, a, as a last point, just if you look at these pawns where they are, like right now you can't really attack them. They're, they're very solid. They guard each other. But like yeah. if you're able to get this, now these two pawns are very weak. Like you can maybe move the queen and attack it, and your bishop is attacking the pawn. There's nothing to support the, support these two pawns here. Like if you go back here, you can't really oh, attack man. this pawn because the one in front pr protects it, and this one in front also protects this one one square up. So like if you, if you can if you can sort of split up these pawns, like you can just break them all up here. They're just two weak pawns now. There, there's nothing guarding anything. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That, oh, there's one, that... one other thing I want to say also is that yeah, right here you move this rook, which is rook up, which is a good move, but you also could have moved the rook here. Like sometimes it's good to have both the rooks on these two open central lines, if possible. Okay. What does that do? Um. Well, basically the the thing is that like the the main idea that you actually want to play for is what I mentioned with pushing this pawn and opening up the board. So like your rook is already very well placed here. 
But if you if you can get your your other rook to like this square, then then when let's just say I make a random move, then when this line opens up, you'll see both these rooks are on the open lines. Versus okay, putting so, every all the firepower yeah. on on one line, like it's still not a bad move. It's completely fine, but you're but you're also like kind of uh, it, if this like for example, say say I put my rook here and you get some position like this, you'll notice that like White's rooks maybe long term they can they, they can play on both files, whereas all your firepower is only on one, and it's not actually even open because the pawn and the bishop guard each other. Yeah. Okay. So whenever you have both both lines or whatever, if yeah. he if he play if he uh, misplaces some of the pieces on the left, you can. You yeah, can I think, get, I think like, the, the way that I the way that I would I would explain it is like normally when there are open lines, um, you want to try to take advantage of them. What the best time to like stack is uh, is if there's only one open line. So I guess in this position it's kind of hard to find, to get an example, but let, let's just say I can magically put like another another pawn on this this file to oppose. Let me. Let me find a way to do that. Uh, let me just make some random moves. Just one second. Yeah, so like, for example, if you look at this position where, where the pawns are now, there, there's no potential open line on this this one because there are two pawns here. Yep. So now you, the only open line that can really happen is if you, like, push this pawn. You could always move the rook, rook and maybe push this one later, but the, really the only open line that's going to occur here is going to be, like, like, for example, you get this position. And now, like, because you, you don't have this open line for the rook since you have the pawn in the way, now you want to stack. You want to put all your yep. all the firepower on the one open line, the the the, the one the one spot where you can aim towards towards like the white rook there. That, that's the yeah. main thing. Yeah, I get it now. Yeah, I mean it's it's difficult. It's it's not a big deal, but it's just something to keep in mind. And and then one other thing also was like uh, kind of the last thing I want to say was that to go forward. Yeah, right here. I, I think I said pawn. And actually, what the move I wanted was for you to push this pawn here. And the point is that now you can, like, this knight is guarding this pawn. Like, if the knight's not here, then it's just checking. Mm -hmm. Freaking quick. Yeah, my, my initial thought was um, uh, only one up for that pawn. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's completely Position. fine. It's just, if there are opportunities where there's, like, a knight or a bishop, generally, if you, it, it's like, you shift it over, you shift it over one. So, you know, at the start of the game, normally, I mean, what, what you want is you want to, like, like let me just set it up. You, you, you want to get control of the center with the two pawns. Yeah. Kind of. And so when you get to like this, let me just go forward to where we were. Um, where was it? We're right, right here. Like it's kind of the same thing. It's different because it's not these two cent central squares. But like if you can get pawns like on these two squares when White has castles here, there always are threats to push this pawn all the way down. Like if you, even even if White could somehow play like something like this, for example, if you can get like this, you can get the pawn to like all the way down. And then bring a rook and attack like this. It's very strong. So you're always looking your opponent's castle to try and push push like this pawn on the f file next to the king if you can. Okay, yeah, you to can. squeeze it, to squeeze him. Squeeze, yeah, squeeze it, squeeze him, and squeeze it all the way down the board. Exactly, yeah. That, that's what you. Uh, that's that's one of those ideas. Like actually, if we look at the first game, it was very similar. I don't know if you probably didn't notice that, but well, well on the right side, yeah, he castled, and then we ended up pushing all of our pieces. Exactly, it was just, just, the, it was just the other way around. Yeah. All right, I guess we're the final game. Okay. Okay. So we're black this okay. one. Yeah. Oh, good. You're you're making a lot less blunders. I mean, I think that's the oh, most important. Sorry, I... It's okay. It's fine. Don't worry. It's one move. <laughs> yeah. It's it's no worries. No worries. It's all good. Yeah, that was unfortunate, you guys, but, I mean, again, he's making less blunders. And, and of, of course, you're not going to see perfect games for the most part, but he's making very, very minimal blunders. And it's really, really, that's really, really important um, to think about. Now, why is Fundy thinking so long here? I'm a little confused. I mean, if you, if you think about it as a uh, knight. Knight. Uh, bishop. Uh, king.
Sehr schön. Pawn. Even if it's not best, you guys, I expect XCC to realize it's the exact same position. Knight. Queen. Queen. This is so hilarious, you guys. This is like very, very similar to what we just had. This is very funny. It's so similar. Um, I wonder if he's going to even go queen a5 here. He's going to realize that it's basically the same position and put the queen over or not. So I, I really just gave him a perfect textbook, textbook example of how to play this if we can finish our development. But knowing my luck, probably this is going to be a game where, I, where like it's similar, but probably in this one there's going a double stack is going to be needed, and he's going like, to put the rooks on e8 and d8, knowing my luck. But we'll see. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're good. Yeah. Ooh, I don't like that move at all. He, oof. I, he kind of forgot what I said. Like he want, oh, you want to develop the bishop. He put the queen right in the right in the line of the bishop. But it's it's not the end of the world. But the problem is now it becomes very easy for White to play because now there's a very obvious target in the center of the board. And like I might have to tell him to move. If, a, if I put I my queen over there, he would have um. Pawn until the pawn is directly under attack. It's fucking stacked like a kebab. If, like, and if I go over there, the he pawn, gets a free to, a free move, six. and then he gets but self pressure with the fucking rook because he's now he's unlocked. So I don't want to give him a free a free move on his uh. It was very hard. Bishop, bishop, no shot. Like, now he probably should fion, fion, fion Cheeto as bishop on b7. But at the same time, when I say pawn, I don't, like, I don't know if he's going to like do that. Either, so because now this guy's blocked out. Because so we'll, we'll of see. the big queen, she's too big. Uh, pawn? That's a that's a very strange move, you guys. I'm gonna say, uh, why did uh why did Nemo say pawn? There, there there's no good pawn. Queen. I mean, I, he'll surely see the pawn. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think they they kind of they kind of blundered there. They kind of threw. That's a terrible trade. Yikes. Queen. And now it all fits perfectly again, you guys. So I told him put the rooks in the center. I said put the bishop to target the pawn. So now all the themes that I explained five minutes ago, he should remember. Bishop. That's not bad. Unless he pushes his pawn for free here, but I don't think he's gonna. No, he doesn't do that. The whole point here, I think, is to go like this and position my thing like that. And maybe go for this. But they would never go for that. Maybe, this is a good square, though, I think. I've got a good more feeling, problem, you guys. I've got a good feeling again. Development. Just like I did last game. We just have to get through one more hiccup. Because she's obviously, obviously going to say queen. And I just have to say pawn. This and pray that he plays f6. I'm scared of that. Yeah. Pawn?
because of the checkmate one. Okay, now we're now we're on track, you guys. Now we're back on track to win this game. That was the one big big worry that I had was that he might miss that, which is why I didn't say queen because I thought it was easier. It's very easy there to tunnel on queen takes pawn and hang the mate, and that's why I said pawn, even though queen g six was better. Rook. Great move, by the way. Fantastic move that does not hang the pawn on a7. Fantastic move. Fantastic, fantastic move. Bishop? getting better you guys it's getting better bishop d3 is also a great move here by by xqc because now the pawn and the rook are under attack by, from the wooden shield so if white goes rook c1 rook c1 might be the only move and now like and now if i say rook i have to hope that he, he i mean i think he should find one of these concepts with either the double stack or to put the rooks on e8 and d8 is my guess i think he should be able to figure that much out rook Rook. Also, does anyone know if we win this game, do we make it in a top group or are we guaranteed bottom group? Like, is, is anybody running away with this field or, or is, there any, is there any chance? I'm sure someone must know, know, must know the results, but... Probably not, right? Nay, okay. No, no chance. Okay, fair enough. Rook. Bishop.
that's one way of doing it, you guys. That's one way of doing it. It's, I mean, it, it works, but it's, I mean, very scary at the same time. Objectively, it's a brilliant move, by the way. Uh, I, I'm assuming XUC sees the idea. So he actually sets up a brilliant move. Um, and I don't know what's going to happen here. It's, it's, it's actually a very here. brilliant move. I think F3 is the only um, move takes, that's not where White's on trouble. I obviously just wanted a clean bishop, bishop G6, like no, position, no danger whatsoever. Back. But it's, it's actually uh, really brilliant because I'm sure he has to see it. Like, he must see the idea. He didn't yeah, just put the bishop there. Because kind of, last time he made the blunder, him. he was like, <gasps> he made that like, uh, he made that sound. And he didn't make any sound. So clearly he actually figured out the tactic here, which is pretty brilliant. Well, he take pawn, but then I lose, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Bishop? <laughs> anyway, he's got him with a bishop here. Um, there are almost no bad squares. Any of these squares are good. I, I would love to see f5 or g6 just to op keep the line open for the double stack. Uh, but both moves are good here. We're up a minute on the clock. We're in pretty good shape. I wouldn't say we're in great shape, though, uh, because the problem is it's more, on, it's more on us to find the plan versus white where uh it's what white like uh, i don't you know, want to damage my line here. here it's like rookie wants an only move so you can't so i'm gonna have all my rooks file. stacked out middle i don't want to block their potential because of fucking the rook on it doesn't make sense at all so while it's an extra extra pawn and we're doing well it's still not 100 percent clean um let's go with uh queen i'm trusting you guys that he can find queen a6 here Maybe he won't find it, but I, I feel like we're in a situation where I need to kind of get some kind of activity or a straightforward plan. Because I want to say bishop, but if I say bishop, I'm not sure he's going to go to g6. And any other square starts to get, get really dicey after rookie 7. So that's why, I'm, that's why I said queen. I really, I assume that he'll figure out I want queen a6 because, if I, it, because I mean, everything else kind of hangs. I mean, there, there, are three, there are three squares here that just lose on the spot. So you really only have three other squares, and you should see that b5 hangs the pawn. So you really are already down to a 50-50. Or not 50-50, but you're already down to two-thirds of the moves that are available with the queen, which are, are good, and, or safe, I should say. Whereas the other ones are just really, really bad. So I, I think he should find queen a6 here, or queen d7. Even queen d7 is fine as well. But I'm trying to play the odds to where he, he, he has very minimal moves and very limited risk. Queen? Great, another great move, you guys. Another fabulous move playing queen a4. Now you have a5 to overload the bishop. Uh, and I think this is maybe already close to winning for us. I feel, I feel like I'm throwing. Because it's very hard for like to do anything really bad. I don't know. To, to salvage the bishop. Like, well, I'm, I'm really confident, but this is like, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm kind of just navigating this. Really, really powerful there's so much potential here. with all these pieces. So like there's so much of it that I don't know what to do with them. queens come off the board, I think we should win based on the time situation alone.
This is looking very, very good, you guys. Very, very good. If, if that's you see, uh, pawn. Uh, queen. Oh, no, don't see ghosts, dude. Don't start seeing ghosts. Don't start seeing the ghosts. I mean, this is just winning for us after queen takes, rook takes king h8. Don't start seeing the ghosts. But the problem is it's a 50-50. 50-50. King. Go the right way. He's, if he goes here, we got mated. It's a 50-50. If he goes this way, we're safe. If we go one way, we win the game. If we go the other way, we lose. No. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. If you, you had to go the other way. We're just winning. Jesus, dude. You cannot be sitting there. If you go the other way, we just win. Yeah, I see it. Because the bishop protects the pawn. I should not put you faster. Yeah. Yeah, yeah no, I mean, the, the the bishop just protects the pawn there. That's my fault. Sorry. I, listen, I, I, should, I should be way more careful there. That's uh, okay. Not, not, not a big deal, yeah. That's unfortunate. But uh, it, it it happens, of course. Oh yeah. my god, dude, these losses are so terrible. These is heartbreakers. We're always ahead and we're always, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing the fucking lead. Yeah, I mean, we should have won these last two games, but uh, it's, uh, it's okay, it happens. Yeah, uh, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Listen, this is kind of embarrassing. Mm -hmm. eh, no yeah. worries, no worries. We got the winning positions. Yeah, you just had to, I, I guess, use a little bit more time there. A little bit more yeah. time. But, I mean, it's, it's, all, it's all right. I, I, for the most part, you played well. It's just the mistakes you made were like really big mistakes you made very few mistakes but the ones you did they were like they just uh they, they were they were too much to recover from unfortunately yeah yeah i mean can't recover, you can't recover from, uh, from a checkmate to be honest yeah. um yeah okay yeah. um well that's that's embarrassing uh are we completely out now or what i i think we're completely out yeah i, I think okay. number four is well gone, that's so. a disaster yeah. um <laughs> it's okay <laughs> still fun though okay. yeah I, I spent some time with you but i'm sorry that our uh our ship kind of sank so early it's um, all good. No, no, geez, no worries. It's, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. As long as long as you enjoyed it, you know, we we had chances. Yeah. yeah well, I mean, I mean, I enjoyed it. It's just that, uh, it's like, um, like it just sucks. Like, uh, I know. No, no, getting no, a lead, course, playing well, and, and end up with a checkmate in one. It's just terrible. Yeah. 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 Well, what can we do about it? Except maybe maybe next time play better. <laughs> maybe yeah. That would help. Uh, okay. Well. Um. Yeah. Well, thanks for playing, and it's time we make it. No, no problem. It's all good. And uh, yeah, again, I mean, just uh, as long as you enjoy it, just just as long as you have a good time with us. That's all that matters. So thanks once again. And uh, you know. Yeah, thanks for playing, yeah. dude. All right. Um, okay, thanks for following up. And I'll, okay, I'll see you later, man. Yeah, no okay, problem. Have a good one. All right. You too, man. Peace out, dude. Bye. Bye. Gee, that's painful. Yikes. Oh wow, that's something else. <laughs> Cuckoo Gaga. I, dude, I was rolling pretty hard these last two games to be honest, but these um these endings are terrible. Jesus. That is not right.